Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Pet sitting. That's what I'm here to do this week. My mom is off having the time of her life in Europe and I'm here taking care of this. I can't imagine that I'll be getting up to too much this week. I am a little bit behind on work and I can't leave the house unattended for too long. But I do have my X-Pan here with me and uh, I brought along some cool film stocks. So hopefully I'll get up to some kind of trouble. Cool film stocks like Aerochrome, but We'll get into that later. This was actually my first time flying uh, TSA pre-check and it would have been really nice, um, but I got randomly selected for a screening, probably because I'm pretty. It ended up being okay though, because I got upgraded to the exit row on the flight for free, which if you ask me, almost makes the random TSA cavity search worth it. Wow, there is literally nothing in here. There's like two beers. I think they're yeah, non-alcoholic beers. A little bit of Arizona iced tea. One Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, there's like a load of beer down here. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store, probably. There you go, look at that. There's actually food in here now. All right, I'm gonna try and set myself up for success. I'm not ready to shoot anything yet, but let's get this thing assembled anyway. I did drop the X-Pan earlier on the ground. It was on carpet, but it turns on and it seems fine. Okay. There you go. settled in. Dog won't eat his food, but I'll get him to eat it. Oh yeah, I was gonna do a uh, taste test. I saw these uh, Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream in the store. Seems like an odd combination, but let's give it a try, huh? Oh wow, that's actually really good. Yeah, I could get obsessed with that, I think. The store up here is actually really cool. It has a lot of the same stuff like the nice stores down in LA had, but then it also had a lot of the stuff that the stores have. So it's kind of like a best of both worlds. You can choose your own adventure, you know what I mean? The sparkling water situation was kind of fucked. I don't know what's going on. The LaCroix section was like half cleared out. All the LaCroix flavors that were left were like the ass flavors, like lemon, not limoncello, which is like God tier, but lemon. Pamplemousse is fine, whatever. Cherry blossom. Cherry blossom is literally the worst. You know in like cartoons and movies when they take a drink of something and then spit it out? I literally did that. It's disgusting. I don't even know why they make it, but then again, maybe my taste buds are from all the flaming hot Mountain Dew. I am gonna shoot the X-Pan, don't worry. I have a plan for the pan. There's a spot I've wanted to shoot for a while. I've seen it on Instagram quite a bit and I just kinda wanna try and, you know, do my own take. It's an interior location, so maybe I'll push the Portra 800 one stop. I've done it before in the past and it looked fine. It looked great, actually. Cool, let's make some food. George, the lighting on you right now is phenomenal. Some Deacon's level sh right there. I don't have a uh, burger buns, so this will just have to work.
delicious, actually. bacon, eggs, and I got the dog to eat its food on the second try. It's turned out to be a pretty good morning. The only thing that would make it perfect is if I had a cig right now. I'll probably meet up with my brother later tonight, get a beer, maybe do a bunch of editing today. I don't know, catch up on emails, that sort of thing. We shot a podcast like two days ago. Gotta speed run that one. It's my turn to edit, so keep an eye out for it. Okay, yeah. You like the lighting? Basically like a free eight by eight diffusion panel. I'm gonna get some work done, but I'm planning to go on a road trip. It's gonna be a pretty big undertaking, not quite to the scale of last year's, but um, I am gonna be on the motorcycle and I'm gonna be by myself for half of it. I have to pretty much only bring 35 millimeter cameras with me because I use a little tank bag that sits right in front of me on the bike and it's gotta hold my camera. 120 is just too big of a format to fit in there with my video camera. So I went down this rabbit hole last night of looking into like the Fuji 645 systems because they seem relatively small and compact. I only get to go to some of these places you know, once probably, maybe in my entire life, I don't know. It'd be cool to capture them in something that is a little higher resolution. 645 is kind of, you know, everyone's got an opinion on it, but it's certainly higher resolution than 35 millimeter. So I leave for that trip in two weeks. I do not think I will have a medium format camera on that one. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'll take you along for the ride. And don't worry, it won't be in a, uh, it won't be in widescreen. It'll be normal. What's up? Um, I am very hungover this morning. Met up with my brother last night, went out with some friends to get some drinks, and uh, now I'm paying the price. Stayed up till like, dude, I think it was like 4.30 this morning. I feel like I'm just getting too old for this shit. Probably just gonna take it easy today. I know I said that yesterday, but I truly mean it this time. I'm gonna make burgers again. I don't know, still hungover. Still wanna shoot the X-Pan, working my way up to it. I was actually thinking of putting some retrochrome in the X-Pan, but I'm a little bit afraid that because that's a re-spooled film, it's gonna rip the film out of like the roller, the socket that's inside the canister. I did shoot some FPP film um, about a week ago and it didn't rip it out. So maybe it would be fine. I forget, are you making a video while you're up there? Like, I am. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of like a, uh, I guess a vlog kind of thing. A little bit different, but I am gonna shoot some film one of these days. I watched this movie called Primer last night. It's a nice like chill movie. Easy to digest and uh, just a lot of fun. I am really itching to shoot something, but I was kind of having a look at a lot of the uh, images that I took in Chicago on the X-Pan with the Nikkor 35, and they're kind of, they're kind of meh. And I'm, I'm not sure if it's because it's hard to display that format. I think it's entirely more likely that I made bad film stock choices and uh, was not really on my A game, I guess, for the photography. Also, I kind of made the realization that Kodak Gold does not 
work very well on the X-Pan. I don't know what it is, just the combination of a Kodak Gold and X-Pan format doesn't really do it for me. All right, that shoot went well. Never really known until you get your film back right. Um, I ended up shooting the Portra 800 at box speed. There was barely enough light. I think I was at 5.6 and 1 60th most of the time, but I think it'll work out. There's like two shots I can think of that probably will not work out. One I shot doubles of, so I can kind of just discard that one. And I think the second one will be better. And then the first one was literally the first shot I took. I think I forgot to set focus. And I only realized I forgot to set focus after the fact. There were a lot of instances where I was waiting around where I framed up the shot, the lighting was beautiful, and I was just waiting around for someone to enter frame. I wanted somebody in there to show scale and add sort of just a, a physical human presence into the photos. And sometimes I took, you know, five to 10 minutes just waiting there for someone to come around. Uh, I'm gonna go out to the coast, shoot some aerochrome there, kind of cruise up this highway that I've done before, but the photos never really made it into a video, so I guess now's their opportunity. This will be the third time I've shot it, and I know I'll like it because it'll be on Aerochrome. Oh boy, salad. Yo, what's up? 
Yo, Pam, how you doing? <laughs> What's up? So due to some scheduling issues, I have to now kind of emergency rush out a video. So I'm going to head down to this location by the Golden Gate Bridge and shoot a video real quick this evening. I think it'll be a good video. It's one I've wanted to make for a while. I think the location is cool. I've never been there. It's going to be a video about pushing Portra 800 one stop to 1600. I've done it before. It looks good, but that video will be out long before this one so tomorrow i'm probably going to head out to uh the coast and shoot some air chrome finally there is sort of an issue with infrared film in the x-pan in the first version of the x-pan supposedly i've kind of read mixed things about some of them are fine and then some of them are not fine i think we're just gonna have to wait and see i imagine mine will be fine but i don't know Watch it. Howdy. Um, made it to the coast. It's a bit overcast, which actually might be a good thing. Air Chrome is a slide film, so it has a very thin latitude. And because we have a lot of uh, even lighting, it might work out well. I have shot Air Chrome in this kind of lighting before, and um, it was at Niagara Falls. And, and I gotta say, I really liked how the shots turned out. So I'm kind of hoping for the same success today. And if it doesn't work out, I mean, whatever. It's Air Chrome. That, that stuff's everywhere, right? It's not going to fall over. It's 
Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that features the ability to craft your own corner of the internet from the ground up. Start with one of hundreds of professionally designed templates that you can pick from and furnish your new site with Squarespace's intuitive user interface that allows you to build portfolios, blogs, and even member areas. If you've ever had dreams of selling your prints online, Squarespace can be that hub for you with several modules built solely just for e-commerce. And if you run into any snags during the process, you can check out Squarespace's award-winning 24-7 customer support to get you back on track in no time. So what are you waiting for? If you're ready to build a website, you can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash grainy days. And if you use the code grainy days at checkout, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Well, that might be about it for the blog. Still hate that word. Did the air chrome look good? Did the Portrait 800 look good? Did any of this look good? I don't know, you know, but I don't, not yet. I'm gonna go back to LA in like two days, get all the film developed and scanned, and then this video will probably be online in a month or two. <laughs> That's kind of the workflow. I'm gonna go make some dinner and then uh, probably just Sit around. See you on the next video.